When considering what has been done so far, we can see that besides the invoicing system fulfilling the objective of performing registries, deletions, and modifications in the database, it would be useful if we could work with a list of invoices, customers, or products through which we could browse. For instance, there could be the chance of filtering customers in the list based on certain criteria, editing data on a customer, creating a new customer, or viewing a customer's invoice or related data. And when we work with customers, products, or invoices, the selection list is similar for all cases, that is, they all abide by some pattern. Genexus provides us with a mechanism for applying patterns and adding some functionality to the application. Upon applying the pattern, Genexus automatically creates in the KB all the objects necessary to add such functionality. In this case, we will be applying the work with pattern to transactions relative to customers, invoices, and products. First, we will see how many objects we have now in the KB. And now we will apply the patterns to these three transactions. We can see that a node reading work with customer was created under customer and the same happened under invoice, as it will happen under product. While we execute, we can see the number of objects that have now been created in the KB. These are all the objects that were created under each of the nodes to which we referred earlier. At this point, Genexus is creating everything necessary, that is, objects relating to security, objects to access the selection list mentioned before, so that later it will be much easier to find the information relating to each customer, product, or invoice. The application is compiled here. And here we see the application running. Genexus adds a link through which we can access the various work with, for instance, work with customers. Here we see a list of all customers we have defined, and we can even set filters, as well as edit the info on a customer. We can delete a customer, or even enter a new customer. All of it done from this screen. Given a customer, we also have a link where we can see its information and all the information relative to it, like invoices of this customer. For instance, here we have an invoice dated June 4th. And from this invoice, we can also see the details. And given a product of that detail, we can, for example, see the data on that product and which invoices include that product. We can also work with products where we have a functionality similar to the one we had when working with customers. Or we can also work with invoices. Here we can see all invoices and the customers they belong to, as well as continue showing more data. This means that given a concept, we see all that related information. And what does this mean? It means that upon creating the objects in the KB, Genexus created a series of objects that relate to each other and we did not need to tell it what the relationship was. This is the advantage of working with an intelligent tool like Genexus that obtains its own inferences based on a knowledge base. We have seen how, through the application of patterns, we can improve our application with very little effort. Along these lines, we will get back to the IDE to create an image gallery.